Welcome to week five of ninth grade literature, second semester. These are the video instructions for your quiz that we are taking this week. I am recording this in case um, you need a refresher after class, you miss class. So these are the video instructions to help you take the quiz. All right, so for week five, you will see two posts on Classroom. This is the quiz post. This discussion question sign um, is what we usually do for discussion questions. And this quiz is like a combination quiz discussion. And I'll explain that more in a minute. Now, I also have the instructions to quiz on the agenda, as well as some examples if you feel like you need more help doing the response part. So, first thing you'll do is you will come to this post. You will open the document for your class period. This will tell you your question, okay? I am assigning everyone a question. Um, each question will have two or three people, maybe four, depending on the class answering it. So you will have the same question as someone else, and that will relate to the assignment. There is also a planning document that you can make a copy of if you want to do a rough draft and plan out your answer before you post it. Now, even though this is a quiz, you are going to post your answer as if it was a discussion question because you are sharing your answer with the class and you will be responding to people. All right, so let's look over the guidelines for the quiz. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. I have assigned everyone a question. At least one other person will have the same question. Um, in Monday, Tuesday's class, I'm gonna put you guys in breakout rooms where you actually get to discuss your question. So, um, you know, you get to collaborate and talk to each other because the idea is we're trying to, all of these questions are trying to help us understand the characters in the story better. So you get a chance to discuss your question with your peers. You can share ideas, you can share evidence, but everyone must write their own answer, okay? And your answer needs to be in paragraph form. So let's say you're in a breakout room with your friends, you guys come up with a great answer. You can't say, okay, friend A, you write it um, and post it and say it's from all of us. No, you all have to have different answers. Um, so maybe you could use different pieces of evidence or explain them in different ways. Your answers can have similar ideas. But you cannot post the exact same paragraph. Additionally, if you are to copy and paste your answer from the internet, if you're to search the question and just get an answer off the internet, that's going to be a zero. So don't do that. Okay. Now, once you've posted your answer to your question, the next part, which is maybe even the bigger part, is responding to at least three peers. And you are going to respond to your peers in this way. You're going to make three types of replies. So you need at least three responses, and I want them to be one of each of these types. First, um, and you don't have to do this in order, but I want you to respond to someone who has the same answer, that has the same question as you. Okay, so if you are answering the first question, Find someone else who answered the first question. This should be easy because you're going to be in a breakout room with them and you're going to respond to their post. Um, then you are going to respond to a person who answered a different question, but you think they did a really good job. So I want you to look through your peers' responses, find someone that you're like, wow, that's a great answer, and you're going to give them a compliment on their answer. And then I also want you to find someone to encourage with constructive criticism. Your responses need to be a complete sentence. Imagine that you're in a classroom taking part in a discussion. And then I have further examples on how you can respond. Um, a good way to think about our responses to this um, is this little graphic. So imagine if we're in the classroom and we're talking about something, someone might give an answer and you might respond by asking them to clarify. What, what do you mean? What exactly does this mean? You can do that in comment form. You can compliment a specific thing they said, not just I like what you said, but about. Tell me what you like about what they said. You can add to it like, oh, that's a really good point. Did you think about this? That reminds me of. This you can make a connection outside of the book. Oh, your answer or the way you describe this makes me think of this movie, this TV show, this song, whatever. Now, if you don't agree with someone, you can state that. Make sure you're doing so in a respectful way. Um, and then you can also explain why you agree with someone, okay? So the idea is that I want you to really be reading and thinking about your peers' responses. Now, a lot of us have been saying, I agree, I agree, exclamation point. 
I agree, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Did you guys know that you can type I agree as a response to something without having even read what you're responding to? So I want your answers to show me that you read this thing you're responding to. What do you agree with? What do you like? What is the, you know, what do you like about it? And then this week's agenda goes through, um, it breaks down like how you could comment if you're like, I don't know how to, how to um, even start this. I have sentence starters you could use. You don't have to, but there are tons of examples in this weekly agenda. And then I have some like specific things that you could, um, just some other ways that you could say it if you're like figuring out, if you can't figure out exactly how you want to get feedback. You can also ask me for help. I want to say this to this person, but I'm not sure how to say it respectfully or how to say this clearly. The idea is like we're having a conversation in the discussion. So to bring this back to what is the deal with this quiz, um, this quiz is two parts. First part, you answer your question, but the second, maybe almost more important part, is that you read other people's responses and that you make three meaningful responses, okay? That's going to be part of your grade. Um, I'm probably going to break this into two grades, so you get one grade for your answer and one grade for your responses. So if you don't respond to anyone, that means one of your grades is a zero. And who wants a zero on a quiz? Not me. Okay, hopefully this made sense. I'm excited.